So the first step is to get your sample out of your um, jar. And you want to swirl it a little bit so that you get a good mix of plankton. You want to get just enough of the sample to cover your petri dish. So that was about six milliliters. Okay, so the next step is getting your Nile Red dye into your sample. This is the solution. This is our dedicated Nile Red pipette. You just want one drop into your solution. Give it a little swirl. So after you put your Nile Red dye in, um, it's a good idea to put in a control sample of plastic, which we have here as a cigarette butt filter fibers. got a little fiber on here. Actually, it's kind of a group of fibers. Okay, so an hour has passed and we're ready to look at our sample with the Nile Red solution. We want to put our, our uh, millimeter graph paper on the scope for measuring pieces and one of our polarizing films for the polarizing process in a little bit. Put that on here. And we have a piece of uh, yellow filter here <clears throat> that we've swung out of the way and for the Nile Red process, we would put it in front of the objective lens here. So, okay, so you're going to start um, by examining the sample under fluorescence using the lawnmower technique described in the Plankton Manual. red and to double check that it's the plastic I will use the polarizing technique so I'll switch from the blue light I will move my yellow filter out of the way place my polari second polarizing lens on top film on top Turn the bottom light on and look for the bright polarized light. Okay, so, um, so just to confirm, um, we've seen the cigarette fiber red and fluorescing. We've seen it uh, um, highly polarized. And now I'm checking under just bright field with no, I took the film off. Um, so there's no polarization film on. And I'm checking to see if there's cellular structure. And I can see, it's drifted a little bit, but I can see that there is no cellular structure. So that is our last check.